I'm Harry Gregson-Williams, composer. And I'm Jane Carter, president of Universal Production Music. And we're here, Harry, um, to celebrate the launch of your new label with us, scored by Harry Gregson-Williams, mm -hmm. um, which we're very proud to have. You know, Universal is, it prides itself on its quality. So for us to collaborate with a composer like you, is a great okay. privilege. <laughs> well, it's a privilege to be doing it. I've just uh, scratched the tip of the iceberg with uh, production music and I jumped at the chance. What's the difference between writing production music and score to picture? Well, I don't think there's a huge difference, but, but you know, obviously, uh, physically, I, am, I have a film running uh, right, right here above my workstation as I write for picture. And in this instance, one's got to imagine the pictures and then imagine the music that would go with it. For instance, thinking about impulse, there are lots of ways of, of uh, uh, portraying that musically. So um, hopefully there's a, it, we'll find a spectrum, an emotional kind of arc, which is quite like what it is writing for a film. You know, last year I did The, the, uh, the Last Duel with Ridley Scott, and, and, and what I'm trying to do there is contribute to the story, which is usually an emotional arc of a character or some characters. So this isn't unlike that. Have you done much live recording for these albums, or is it mainly electronic? We've done some live recording, absolutely, but there's a lot that's electronic, which is fairly typical of all my scores, which generally have been quite hybrid. So there's usually a contribution from featured instruments, if not an orchestra, um, but quite often there'll be synths and drums and whatnot that are, that are actually programmed. It's going to be really interesting where your music syncs because we have <laughs> clients from absolutely everywhere, yeah. from broadcasters to YouTube online, right. advertising, right, right. <laughs> absolutely everything. Yeah, that, that would be a little odd for me um, because uh, to this point my music's sort of cu curated not just in a specific film but a specific moment within a film. So I'm excited about that yeah. and probably will be quite surprised. Thank you, Tom. Um, we're really pleased that you, you've both worked on this project. Tom, you've written a few tracks with Harry. Do you want to talk about how you write together? Most of the time, the ideas will start in Harry's studio around the piano. So, um, sit so down. He's, he's trying to lay the blame on me. <laughs> <laughs> most of the time, it's his fault. No. Yeah, no, we'll yeah, we're, we're right here where we are. Um, yeah, we, we get around the piano and throw ideas around. Because there's no picture to guide us, I mean, on our collaborations uh, 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 with Early Man, for instance, for Ardman, you know, he might be in his studio and I might be in my studio here, but we're both looking at the same picture, which yeah. is guiding us. So in this instance, it's more a conceptual thing to begin with. So you don't put up images or cut something together no, and, and think... I don't know what you put up in your studio, man. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, no. <laughs> And the thing is, also, you're writing in a different way, aren't you? You'll do, you know, when you're guided by the picture, mm -hmm. the shape of the music is going to be very different. But I think in, uh, in, you know, in production music, you're trying to do something that can be used in, in lots of different ways. So how do you feel about, um, you know, it's in the library, client comes along, and they can cut it up any which way. We have stems. How does that feel? Well, I mean... <laughs> You, you often want control, don't you, over the finished um, product, but that's become pretty commonplace now in TV and yeah. film anyway. I mean, it's very unusual to now record, you know, give somebody just a you know, stereo mix or a surround mix. Particularly on TV, when you um, go and see the final product, they've often messed with the stems, cut yeah. out the brass you had here, made way for this, and so it, it's very sort of similar to that, sort of trusting the editors yeah. really to kind yeah, of, you know... I don't, I don't see any negatives in that, because yeah. as you say, you're aiming at a, a, a really quality product here and we're giving options as well you know there, there are there, there are options to, to be able to take out lead lines or put them back in um, so they're hopefully really user-friendly great well thank you both and look forward to hearing it <laughs>